What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, and they can't leave back in another video. Now, today we're gonna be reacting to every time LeBron James has lied for no reason. And I don't know if y'all been following up with the social media about LeBron lately, but I ain't gonna lie, there's a thing that goes around. I'm a LeBron fan too, not a fair player, but I'm a LeBron fan. But there's a thing going around where, like, people just say, not people, LeBron say some things, but people just find, they find some, I don't know if it's the truth that he's wrong, but it, is, it just seems like something's gonna add up. And sometimes things don't add up. And sometimes we just don't know, but you know what I'm saying? It just look crazy and it's kind of funny, I ain't gonna lie. No hate to LeBron, he a cool dude, you feel me? But we're gonna react to it, though, nonetheless. So, that being said, that's sub button, let's get to it. Alright, here we are, LeBron J live for no reason compilation. Let's get into it. Recipe take off, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, what happened to say? He's one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? I was a big fan of the Beagles, but... You know what I mean? Let's get to the video. Um, I seen this one. Say, put yourself in situations where you are not in, you're not comfortable. Oh yeah, that's my favorite saying. Zone. LeBron, no it's not. Hey LeBron, I'm a big fan, bro. Just keep it up, honey. That's not your favorite quote. You probably never, nah, you not actually never heard the quote. But that's your favorite quote out of every quote in the world, bro. Like, oh, he just, come on, man. Come on, bro. Um, that's my favorite saying. In this video, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna play some clips quote, of LeBron James lying <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, shout out LeBron one more time, bro. No, I don't know him. You want to go? I don't ghost. have proof, but just watch these clips. Look at his body language and what he's saying. Oh, no, he. It's yeah, look at his body obvious. language. He may not be telling the truth on all these. So it's not that Let's serious. It is. It is funny though. It's I just a lie. question, uh, not related to the game, but since uh, it has been a lot of publicity yesterday and today about Godfather Part Two, which is the the scene or. Or the moment, or the phrase, or the quote. I remember this one. You like more from the movie. Oh, from The Godfather. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's too many different phrases uh, <laughs> and too many different yeah. moments in that movie to just uh, yeah categorize one. Um, but which is the one which inspires you? Represent you more? I mean, each movie is nine hours long. I mean, what do you want me to do? LeBron. Let me talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, you feel me? You probably would never see this. Let me talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. As a fellow liar myself, I know you're lying. It's okay. You probably, you probably didn't see the whole movie. Like I said, it's a long movie. You probably see the whole thing. But it, it's keep it 100, you know what I'm saying? It's keep it 100, bro. Let's keep it 100. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. I don't know. I'll let you pick one. And I'll roll with it. It's, it's a LeBron, great you trip. lying. Okay, right away. You're lying. You one quote. Now I get it. These movies can be hard to remember. That's what I'm and saying. Sometimes you just can't pick one. But in this case, you gotta give him something, man. Come on. Nothing. Yeah. Um, so you're holding the autobiography of Malcolm X along with Alex Haley. I don't know how far you are into the book, but what's your biggest takeaway so far? Um, I kind of just started a couple days ago. Um, but, um, I've read and a lot of a lot of notes over the years. Um, it's my first time actually reading it from start to finish. Um, but just a very um, very smart man. I mean, he said he just started. And basically, um, he said he just started. But you didn't read that goddamn books, book, bro. In the, in the 60s. And, uh, and, and what was going on is actually what's going on today, still. This one shouldn't be too surprising. You didn't read the book, bro. We all know LeBron. You just started, James, though. I, king of that's, that's not bad. But when it comes to reading the first pages of books, there's no one better. With that being said, that was probably the last time he brought one to a press conference. He said he just started up. This is crazy. Game. This is crazy, Angle. This is crazy. Game, you know, I said he was going to, before the game even started, when I seen, uh, I said he was probably going to score 70 tonight. I don't I don't know what made me say that. And my friends was with me, and they was like, okay. So when he got to like 70, I, I was like, well, he might as well go for 80 now. So, I mean. LeBron James. LeBron James, the GOAT. The GOAT. You telling me, you say he gonna drop 70 before he drop 81. You just knew. And I know you were, you were basketball genius. You know some things you will never know about basketball. But before you seen Kobe stood up before that game, you said in your head, he dropping 70. I'm a fan of the game. And to see that performance. You are. You, you will go. That's right, guys. That's about genius. LeBron James can also only. predict the future. Well, not quite. He said he was going to drop 70. He ended up dropping 81. But that's pretty impressive that LeBron just knew that was going to happen. 2% of Liverpool. How does that come about? 
I read about the, the, the franchise and, and, and how uh, and amazing one. it is. Um, you know, and I actually made a trip over, uh, you know, to Liverpool as well. Type and, shit. And see all the sites and, and the arena and, and everything. Um, so it was pretty, pretty unique. Yeah, Crouchy is actually a Liverpool legend. He used to play there. I don't know if you knew that. No, I knew that. No, I knew that. I knew that. I didn't get an opportunity to see him play when he was with the club, but I definitely knew. I, I definitely knew that. The current captain, uh, Jordan Henderson, just scored his first goal for England the other day. It was uh, amazing to see. You fan of his? No, absolutely. And I saw and I, I saw a clip of that too. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to actually see the game live, mm. but um, I saw that he was able to score one in, in, <laughs> in the match the other day, and I thought that was. Uh, it's pretty unique, the fact that he would do that and also be with Liverpool Football Club. Even LeBron <laughs> knows he's full of it, trying to hold in his laugh, keep it together. LeBron the James, the interview, bro. Or hopefully they don't find out. What that you just saying? Up. I got to give him props for trying, but it's tough to watch. Finally, I'm hoping we he have just, our most he recent clip. That's what he the expressed. whole inspiration for this video. LeBron James talking about Migos and takeoff specifically. LeBron claimed that he knew Migos was up next before they did. They hadn't even released a song yet. It was probably wasn't even a group yet, in boy. Room in 2010. I've been listening to those guys for so long. I was listening to those guys when I my first year with the Heat in 2010. The group wasn't out. The group wasn't made yet. Who were you listening to? But then again, matter of fact, it was it was a long time ago. So I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's got a year mixed up. But if you met like. I don't know, bro. It just looks bad because the track record. Who were you listening to, bro? It wasn't the Migos. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the right Migos. It might have been another Migos. It wasn't Quavo would take off and I said, though, you was listening to. I don't know who you was listening to. It wasn't, no. I, I'm just shot. LeBron, bro. And actually, one of my teammates back LeBron, there, bro. You the GOAT, though, my fault. And I was like cursing me out when I would play it throughout the weight room or play it throughout the locker room. I was like, I'm telling you. I can lie. We need to ask the, ask the teammates. Ask the way. We're going to ask the way, way. We're going to scratch bars. Um, you don't has them. We're gonna ask him, is he, is he lying or is he telling the truth? You gotta ask. These guys are next. I'm letting you know right now these days, like, turn this off. I don't want to hear this. Um, you gotta ask him, bro. Just fast forward. I mean, just just knowing, um, you know, take off personally and you know, send my condolences. That's in peace, family. bro. That's, I, I, that shit was so crazy, bro. I was actually, like, shocked. Oh, like, you family and everybody. I was so, so there shocked. You have bro. It. LeBron James likes to stretch the truth when it comes to trending topics or stories about him. I mean, it's all good, though. I ain't gonna lie, if I wasn't go to basketball, I would lie too. What what do I owe y'all to tell y'all the truth about? If I was LeBron James, I'd lie. You you wouldn't exactly tell the truth no more, bro. Cause you a go, bro. What you gotta tell? Like you are, you rich, a billionaire, you got a wife and kids, your life set for good, you one of the best players ever to play the game. Why I gotta tell you the truth? Why do I owe you that? You know what I'm saying? So I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, damn LeBron, sometimes it be crazy, bro. But you know, LeBron, he's still he's still a go, he's still a go, he's still a go. So this is the end of the video. Shout out to LeBron James. He's still a go, bro. Make sure you hit that like button, that sub button. We out here.